hypothesis testing for the population proportion using a normal approximation to the binomial distribution. This formula gives the test statistic, Z, and then we can compare this value with the normal distribution and its probabilities. The P hat is the number of successes divided by your sample size, the size of your random sample. This formula has to be memorized. It's not in the AQA formula book. Example one, on this large housing estate in this youth club there were 36 boys and 29 girls. So that's a total of 65. That's the sample size. That's the value that goes here, the total number in the sample, and here, n. We're testing at the 10% level of significance to see whether there are equal numbers of boys and girls. Equal numbers, equal probabilities. So P is 0 0.5. That's the value that we're going to test. So H0, P equals 0 0.5. H1, P is not equal to 0 0.5, a two-tailed test. So this significance level here will be split into 5% and 5% in each tail in the normal distribution. Now we have to test for either the boys or the girls. We have to pick one. And if we use the boys value there, 36, then our p hat value, value will be 36 out of the 65 children were boys. That's the proportion. And the p hat the hat means it's an estimated value. We're trying to estimate a population parameter using a sample statistic. So H0 and H1, our two tail test. P hat the binomial distribution here is 65 for n, p is 0 0.5, and there's no tables to work with, so we can use a normal approximation because the conditions here are met. You've got a large value of n, and the mean np is more than 10. There's no need to apply continuity correction. We don't have to when we're doing a hypothesis test. So splitting the significance level, 5%, 5% in the critical regions, where you would reject H0, the cumulative probability to the left of this line is 95%. From the tables, we get critical values of plus or minus 1.6449. Remember that in the formula, this is the only value here where you put in p hat, just this one. The other instances of p are what you've put down for h0 and h1, 0 0.5. So our test statistic is 0 0.87. And 0 0.87 is in the acceptance region. It's in between minus 1.6449 and 1.6449. So we accept H0 and conclude that there is insufficient evidence of a difference in the numbers of boys and girls. Example 2, here we're testing a proportion of 30% and we're looking for greater than, so this is a one-tail test, H0 and H1. And P hat is equal to 370 out of 1,000.
we're using a 2% significance level. So the binomial distribution would have been this. Here's the n value. P is 0 0.3. There are no tables for this binomial distribution because various conditions are met. We can use the normal approximation, which takes us to here. Now we need to work out our test statistic Z using the formula. So here's the test statistic, 4.83. And 4.83 is in the rejection region. It's greater than 2.0537. So we reject H0. There is sufficient evidence that the proportion belonging to a youth organization in this city is greater than 30%. Again, in the formula here, P hat is this single value here, 0 0.37. All of the other values here are P and they are 0 0.3 and n our total random sample size was a thousand example 3 uh, the railway company here is claiming that 4.3 percent of its trains are late so that's the value that goes into h0 and h1 0 0.043 and the passenger association is saying that this is an underestimate. They're saying this is too low. It should be higher. So we should be testing for greater than this value for H1. So H0, H1. The sample size is 500. It's a large sample. It's a random sample. And the number of successes in there is 30. So P hat is 30 out of 500. So we need to check whether the normal approximation applies. For a normal approximation, n has to be large and the mean must be more than 10. So working out the mean, n times p, 21.5, it's more than 10, so a normal approximation applies. p hat, 30 out of 500, 0 0.06. Calculating the test statistic, 1.873, and 1.873 is greater than 1.6449. Our test statistic is in the critical region, so we're going to reject H0 and state that there is sufficient evidence to say the association's belief is correct and that the claim of 4.3% is an underestimate.